Since 2017, I have shot so many videos for my channels, and since then, I have used Canon 700D as my primary camera. After 4 years of usage, its battery is almost exhausted and can't back up more than 15 minutes. And buying a new battery is not a good option for me because of its price. Hence, I made this contraption that can be able to run this camera directly from AC power. It also has the old battery of this DSLR in case of power failure. Frankly, this setup is too bulky and always has to be attached to the tripod. Now I came up with this idea. I will use a power bank as a power source which can provide 5V at its output. Of course this voltage level isn't enough for the camera, so I will use a boost converter to step up the voltage at 7.2V. And this voltage will directly feed into the camera. This power bank can be charged when it provides output, thus it is definitely a plus. So after putting all of the theories out of the way, let's start with the build. I am using this MI power bank 3C as a power source and a boost converter module based on MT3608 IC. This module can handle a maximum 2 ampere of current on its output, which is more than enough for my camera. It consumes 660 milliampere at 8 volt. Ok, let's test my theory. I have connected the boost converter with my bench power supply and set the power supply at 5 volt. Then I have adjusted the trimmer to set the output voltage at 8.2 volt which is the full charge voltage of a 7.2 volt battery. Now a real issue is how I can put this voltage into this camera. The instant solution that came to my mind is to use the old battery enclosure. So I have salvaged this part from my old design, soldered proper wires and put it back inside this casing. This yellow wire is positive and the black is ground. Let's connect the two pieces together. Moment of truth, will this system work? Yes, of course, it does. The camera is just working perfectly fine. During the video recording, it consumes 1.2 amps at 5.1 volt. But one thing I have noticed during the flash photography or on the continuous shooting, there are so many current spikes occur. So, Will the power bank handle it? It can only be answered from the power bank. So I have used a micro USB breakout board and soldered wires at the positive and negative terminals. Next I have connected the positive of the converter to positive and negative to negative. After connecting the power bank with the micro USB breakout board, the camera is just working fine and flash as well as continuous shooting mode is doing pretty well. Now you may be wondering. Why the camera consumes more current at 5V? Simple, boost converter is not generating free energy mumbo jumbo. It basically takes more current on its input as we increase the voltage on the output. As an example, if we need 8V at 777 milliampere, then theoretically it should take 1.23 amps at 5V from the input. But in real life situation, there are several power losses across the components and in the wires. So the current is settled at 2.4 amps, around 50.12% efficiency. Now we need a proper and lightweight enclosure to pack every components together. So I have measured all the components and designed a case on Fusion 360. I have also left two holes for input and output LED indications and one for the output wire to pass through. Next I have exported the design to Cura and print it using PLA by my 3D printer. After finishing I have first removed all the support material and have installed the micro USB breakout board in this cutout. This process is bit tricky. First I have used hot glue to fit the PCB in its place. Then I have drilled holes on the base by following the screw holes of the PCB. Next I have removed the breakout board from its location, cleared the hot glue, placed it here and tightened this with bolts. 
as i have mentioned i left two cutouts for the leds so i have used one on the input of the boost converter and other one is on the output input line indication led works on 5 volt so i have used 47 ohm resistor and output indicator will work on 8.2 volt so 220 ohm resistor is finalized next i have passed the output wire through the respective cutout to fit these leds on the respected holes i have designed and printed two washers for the leds so that the right amount of them can be exposed to the outside of the casing this is definitely not so important i have done only for aesthetics anyway let's fix these leds with super glue okay let's plug in the micro usb cable in the micro usb port and the other end of the cable to the power bank as expected all the systems are working perfectly fine i am getting 8.2 volt on this wire so i can carry on let's solder the wires inside the dummy battery and use a bit of super glue to join these parts together just for my curiosity i have installed the battery inside the camera and took some photos and record videos for a couple of minutes everything is working perfectly fine but there is a problem i have to always hold this or put this power bank somewhere near the camera so i have designed a power bank holder on fusion 360 and printed it with my 3d printer this holder can be set on the legs of the tripod using velcro now put the power bank inside this holder and we are done this power bank can support bypass charging that means the power bank can supposed to deliver power on its output when it is on charge which it does but not enough to run the camera maybe it is the charger limitation i don't know so how much camera runtime can i expect from this power bank well according to my tests during videography the camera consumes approximately 1.05 amps and during photo shoot 1.23 amps at flash this camera consumes up to 3 ampere momentarily at 5 volt so i can expect this power bank can run my camera approximately 6 hours at full charge during videography if it constantly consume 1.2 amps at 5.1 volt and bit similar during photo shoot and bit less in flash photography at the worst case scenario with 50 percent efficiency i can expect around three hours of video shooting time which is really great so in the end i would say this was a pretty helpful project for me this simple solution will help me a lot during my shoot and I will never have to concern about low battery. If you too want to go with this solution, then all the parts list and still files can be found on the video description. I have also designed this cable manager to fold all the excess micro USB cable. That definitely reduces the cable clutter. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe and activate the notification bell for future updates. Thank you so much.